guys. Hello, hello. Pam Savage with Young at Heart Creations. I am working on some, still some of those items that I started the other day. So I've just got a few minutes that I've got to paint until I go get supper ready for my hubby. But I thought I would hop on and see if you would bear with me for a moment. I've got my iPad set up as well. I am trying to figure out why it won't let me see comments when I go uh, when I go live. So I'm gonna um, give everybody a few minutes to hop on, show you what I'm working on. Right now, I'm working on this stocking. And I'm gonna be little peppermints, and I'm putting a gingerbread man in the center of it. So I'm just kind of getting some base coating done today. <clears throat> I mean, or right now, before I've gotta go fix supper, the color that I'm doing, I usually use honey brown, but I have this Deco Art Cocoa um, C O C O A sitting here, so I want to use it. It's pretty close to the um, to the honey brown, so I'm just going to use it. But if you would, if you don't mind um, hopping on and hi, looks like we've got five already. Just hopping on for a few minutes. I'm trying to work out some technical things. I want to see if I can get comments on my iPad. But this is what I'm working on right now. I'm going to have some little peppermints and a little gingerbread man in the center so let me get over so if y'all will bear with me i'm trying to get to where i can see your comments while i'm painting um and i've had some issues doing that i know it's delayed okay i do see myself <laughs> uh, let me see if i can get that pulled up here and get the okay it is delayed i was able to mute it Swipe left to see comments. Okay, somebody comment, hello, Christmas, what, whatever. Just something so I can tell if I can see the comments. And if this works, I'm celebrating. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to bring you down here and let you see what I'm painting. Be sure and say hi just to let me know that you're on. And we're just going to paint a few minutes. I'm trying out one of these new brushes. Uh, somebody gave it to me at the retreat. Um, said it was from Walmart, but that they don't carry them anymore. And they found them at um, the Hobby Lobby in Louisiana. So they grabbed a few packages, and she was sweet enough to share with me. So if you will, please hop on. Uh, when you hop on, just say hi. That's all you have to say. Just say hi, test, anything at all. Just so I can... Tell if this iPad is working. Add a little bit of water. That's pretty, pretty thick. So I'm not sure yet on the peppermints. And tell me if you've got a suggestion what I would outline them in where it's going to be sitting on the red, like the red on the red. Um, I know the white. I will probably do in a little bit of gray shading. Uh, and the red may be fine just to leave it like it is. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't painted many peppermints. Um, I have on other colors, but not red on red. So, not sure what that's going to, what that's going to look like. It is gorgeous, gorgeous weather here today. Uh, we just turned the air conditioner on about 30 minutes ago. We got down in the 40s here last night for the first, I think it's the first time. But I was chilly when I came out of church. I love doing gingerbread man. I don't know which, it's kind of hard for me to decide between the snowmen the Santas and the gingerbread men. Now, the, the peppermints, I used graphite paper uh, to get those on because I knew my arm would be going everywhere. But this, I just used a chalk pencil. So everybody moved on to painting Christmas. What I like about the chalk pencil is when you're done, 
you just take a little bit of a damp cloth and wipe it off. So this is not um, a specific pattern. Just kind of doing it as I go. So I'm hoping that the vision in my head comes out the same on here. Sometimes that works out and sometimes it doesn't. I thought I'd go ahead and be base coating him and letting that base coat dry while I work on some of the peppermints. I'm trying to decide if I want it to make it look like a child. Um, and I do that by the way I shape the mouth. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Kendall. Y'all say something to me. Just say hi, hello. What are you painting? Anything. You told me that you were watching. Okay, I think I am liking this brush. It took me a minute to get used to it. I, um, I was using it the other day, and um, the handle's a little different. It was just taking me a little, little time to get used to it. But I think I'm going to like it. Okay, so there's the base coat. It'll take one more coat on it um, to get it. And I think what I'm going to do with this, um, I'm not going to tell you yet because we may be finishing this one tomorrow night. I'm not sure. I've got another project that um, I'm working on that we may do tomorrow night. It'll just start fresh on it. Depends on how far I get on this one today. All right, show me that you're watching. Okay, so I need a little bit of white. I'm going to leave the red parts uh, white, uh, red. Don't have to paint them. We'll just leave them red as is. And we'll just fill in the white, and then we'll outline it. think that will work for us. And I'm going to start out with just a small round. Uh, it's a low Cornell number three. And see if we can kind of get it outlined and then um, pulled in. Okay, guys, this is the first time, my first time for me watching myself. So, <laughs> hey, Melody. Melody, could you say something? I am just uh, pretty much just painting and just thought I'd bring you on for a few minutes um, but I'm trying to get my iPad worked and set up to see if uh, it's an old iPad but I'm wanting to see if it will let me uh, read your comments so it is telling me that you're watching but could you just say hello or hi or uh, I'm from wherever you're from just something so that I can yay I've been trying to get this thing to work for almost two years, and um, it, I just saw your comment. It is delayed, but at least now when I'm doing my lives, uh, and I think that's what the problem, I wasn't realizing that it is so delayed and nothing was showing up, um, but I want you to know I've been up here working on this without my husband, without my daughter, and um, i Nothing's on fire yet. I've plugged things in every hole up here I can find in in this thing. So I don't see any smoke yet. So I guess we're doing okay. All right. Thank you so much. All right. I'm going to bring you back down here. Can't paint real long, but I just wanted to bring you on and show you what I was working on today. Putting a little gingerbread man on and uh, little peppermints around him. Not sure. I've got two or three options that I'm going to do up here. And um, hi, Cindy. So that's what I'm just kind of working on today, trying to get all these things finished up. And then um, I had somebody ask me today, are you bringing sunflowers to the craft show? I do have a few um, things with sunflowers, so, but I might have to get busy and 
get some more sunflowers made too. Uh, if it is pretty Thursday, my plans are to get out in the garage and start on that little kitchen set. Okay, I'm going to start over here and work this way so I'm not dragging my arm across. So I need to figure out which ones... Okay, this one, I'm going to use my chalk pencil. I love chalk pencils, by the way. This will probably be my tomorrow Tuesday tip, Tip It Tuesday. Um, love, love, love them. Okay, so let's do, um, we'll do this one white. That means that one's going to be white and that one's going to be white. And let's see how that works out. There's several different ways to um, to paint peppermints. Several different ways you can do the stripes. I'm going to do this one first just to kind of see, make sure it looks okay. Everybody has that one or two things that for some reason their brain just doesn't lock in on it. And peppermint, I don't know why, but it's, it's one of the things. Candy canes don't bother me. Okay, so I can go white and white, red and red. Nope, we're gonna do it this way. Because I looked at one on Pinterest earlier, and um, you can do it where the whites connect and the reds connect, but you can also do it this way. And this is the one I looked at earlier on Pinterest. So we're just gonna go this way. That white really shows up on the red. So we'll do this one. If I don't like it, I'll paint over it and do the rest of them a little differently. Uh, the craft show is November the 13th, so I'm running out of time. And we've got our, um, our congregation is doing a fall festival for our congregation, for all the kids in our congregation, and um, it's going to be a biggie. And that's this Saturday, so I've got to get things ready for that. I'm going to have a booth where they're painting little um, wooden pumpkins. All right, let's see. I've still got you here. Hey, Sheila. Yay. Okay, thank y'all so much. I have made a an early New Year's resolution. I am going to stop being so afraid of technical things. I am going to push myself outside of my box I am seriously thinking about getting an Etsy shop and starting um, not being afraid to do the shipping. You all know how technically challenged I am, but the only way I'm going to not be technically challenged is if I just do it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to... Your show's October the Ooh! Yours is closer. <laughs> closer, closer. Well, and we weren't even sure if they were going to have ours this year. And I'm a little nervous because they haven't started advertising. When I was coordinator of it, um, I started advertising about the middle. Well, this week would be the week that I would start putting all the signs out. Now, I would already be advertising it on uh, Facebook. Okay, and so when I outline it, what would you outline that in? I will do a little bit of gray shading on the on the white. It'll, it'll need another coat, of course. But then when I take the... Um, the white off when I clean the white uh, graphite off it'll just be red so I feel like I don't want the red to look like it's just floating 
I could just do it in white or I could do this in a darker red all the way around. I don't know, how do you do your peppermints? Or, you know, do you do them? You've got orders coming in, haven't painted anything for the fall market yet. Oh no. Thank you so much, Peggy. Okay, y'all, this may be, <laughs> this may be good and this may be bad that I can read all the comments. I may not get anything done. Hey, Erica. Erica, you would be so, so proud of me, Miss Technically Challenged here. I've been working all afternoon. I've got an old laptop. I don't know how old it is. I guess it's about four years old, but I have never been able to get it fixed so that I can see um, co uh, comments on it. It's never worked. And I got it to work today all by myself, Erica. You would be so proud of me. You better be proud of me. <laughs> uh, technology or technical stuff, and I do not get along, but... Uh, this is what we're painting right now. Gonna put a little gingerbread in the middle of it. Just got him base coated and I'm working on peppermint. So Erica, hi Carol, hi Karen. Um, <laughs> good, thank you Erica. I was about ready to call you and say, what do I do? But it's working. Okay, on the peppermint, I've just got it barely base coated. What would you do to outline around it when you're done? That's just white graphite marks where I just traced it on on there but what would you do would you just shade the red areas a little darker on the ends and then shade the white in gray or would you outline it all the way around I'm not a huge fan of outlining everything in black uh, but anyway y'all give me some ideas because I've never really painted peppermints before I love them especially with gingerbread gingerbread men stuff I'm going to bring it back down. So, yes, I am behind too. Okay, so we'll want white, red, red. We'll do a little bit of that white there. And then I'll just be some of this. St the stock, I'm not even going to worry about this right here up at the top because the stocking is going to come over it when I snow it or whatever I end up doing to it. So, I'm not even going to worry about that. There's tiny little spots right there. But that will be covered up, so I'm not even going to worry about that. You guys, Erica Wallace that is on here, um, that's the one that I went to her retreat. Erica Wallace with Wallace House Designs. We had a retreat in Shreveport, Louisiana, and we just had so much fun. It was just so wonderful to be with everybody. Uh, you know, like-minded women. But if y'all have not watched, uh, gone to her page, Wallace House Designs, watch some of her videos. She is, um, she's wonderful at shading. And she does most of, I think, all of her designs. She has a laser cutter and she cuts the wood out. She sells uh, wood blanks. Uh, etched, very, very nice. You know, the sled that we did live, um, last Tuesday night, that was one of her sleds that she cut, and I was showing you how nice the edges were, how pretty they were, and y'all have seen pictures of the retreat on my page, but it was just so much fun. But if you have not checked out her page um, and some of her videos, you're missing out. So it's Wallace House Designs, and she lives in Louisiana. You will not be sorry that you did. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just bring this down. I said it wasn't, but just so I don't forget. So we've got a lot, lot going on right now with shows and, um, sorry, my nose is running up here. It's a little bit hot up here. It's cold outside, or not cold, but cool. Cool enough that the air conditioner's not running, so it's gotten a little hot up here. And uh, to go to Erica's page, we love Erica, and we love her painting, but the bonus in the highlight of her videos is when her little Ray Lynn pops in and sometimes takes over the live. It's adorable. So, so cute. 
Okay, so let's do white, white, and white. And let me smooth that out. If I don't do that, I'll end up with two whites side by side. And it'll be lopsided. And I am a little bit, I'm gonna bring you down just a little bit. Let me work with my Archon just a minute. Bring you a little bit closer. Hi, Patty. Yes, Melody, um, I did just host an event, um, hosted it August the 28th, I think, I, I can't remember that, August, the end of August, we hosted one uh, here in Sherman, and we had a great day. It was just a one day, all day. Um, we did a lot of projects in one day, but we learned a lot in that day. Hi, Doris, or Grandma, I don't call you Doris, I call you D Grandma or Mom, <laughs> one of my other moms, I call her, uh, but glad you're on. Okay, now the comments keep disappearing and I keep having to touch them. So if there's a way to keep them on there and you guys know it, let me know. I don't know if I'll be doing another event next year. Um, I said I probably wouldn't, but oh my goodness, after you've done one, it is so much fun. And so I'm not sure. It is very, very convenient for me to do it uh, at this event center that we have right by me and um but there's no hotel and it's not close to an airport so it was pretty much with um just those that were close enough to drive in but i really love the convenience of it from um erica's retreat that we went to her retreat, um, I already knew several of the ladies that were there because we're friends on Facebook. I mean, not friends so much, but um, on my personal page, but on my, they follow my business page. So we've talked, you know, through comments and everything. It was just so wonderful to get to meet them in person. And then I met some new ones that I had not met before. So that was great. And just all the talent in one room. It was just really lots of fun. <laughs> okay, this one looks, looks like it's got eyes. And then it's mad because I dotted where I want the white. <laughs> A little shaky. My uh, blood pressure was doing great all morning, doing fine. And then just all of a sudden, bam, it decided to spike. When mine spikes, it spikes up to around 200. And then I get a little shaky for a while until my medicine kicks in. Then after um, our fall festival thing that we have um, this Saturday, the next Saturday, we have another fall festival. At the one this Saturday, there'll be I have a little booth set up, and they'll be painting wooden pumpkins. The one the following week, I'll be doing face painting, which is always interesting, especially the ones that are chewing gum. <laughs> always fun. I love it. I used to paint faces for years when my kids were in school at our um, football games for our band band fundraiser and they were so much fun a lot of work but the kids were adorable you know and you'd have all these little simple pictures laid out and go, okay which one do you want and you would always have these one or two well I want a princess sitting in a pumpkin 
with the mice pulling, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I want all these detailed, and I would look at them and go, honey, your face is not big enough to put all that on. Even if I could paint all that, your little face is not big enough for all those details. Wanting you to paint, you know, a whole scene, and there's 25 kids lined up waiting to get theirs painted. It was so cute, but they already had in their mind what they would want. So I get as close as I could, something that would resemble it. So I'm just going to go through and base coat on. Now this is a little time consuming. I love it. Just love, love, love all the little details. That's what always kind of pulls it together. Okay, so we're going to do this one white because I can just go right up in to the white on the top of it. That makes it easier to Get it painted out. And then I just got a paint party booked for November. So the craft show is November 13th. My paint party is um, November the 20th. And it's down around the Dallas area. They're going to be doing the little, they're going to be doing the, um, the baby version of this. This is the big one. They're going to do a small one. Not sure what color they'll do their hats in. Um, they have their choice. They can do their hats, whatever they want to. I had one lady do one the last time we did this. Um, try swiping the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I was trying that. I mean, I'm touching it and they're coming up, but I wanted them to stay, but I guess... They're going to go away. But hey, we're further than I've ever been. So, But um, anyway, she did hers for as a gift to someone. And it was um, Texas a &M. She did her hat in the burgundies. And put Texas A&M. Of course, she couldn't sell it with, the, with that logo on it. But it was a gift. And it turned out really, really cute. Now, these look... Really messy right now with just that first coat on there. But once you get that second coat on there and then start putting the little details on it, it will just all come together. I'll probably go ahead and do some more of these. Now I'm going to have to figure out where to put this iPad because right now it's kind of just right here, right here where I am. So, um, I'm not sure if I like it right there. But I'm just so excited that I got them to pull up. Our Ladies Day that we had Saturday at church went great. Speaker was wonderful. We had it decorated so pretty. All, all fall decorations. The lesson was about um, footprints of love. And the whole lesson was about what kind of footprints are you leaving? What kind of path are you leaving for people to follow? For your children, for your friends. Okay, I'm going to widen this one just a little bit. Okay, what do you think? Are they starting to look like peppermints? I know it's just base coated. It was a great time, Carol. I, I would go back tomorrow if I could. All right, so we will do this one white. This is a, I don't know if I have this on my website or not. Um, this is a pattern that I drew out. And I think I put the template on my website. If not, I will get it on there. There's a penguin on the website. Um, 
under uh, templates. But the beak on the, let me grab one. The beak on the template, I told y'all I was redoing it. I do not like the beak at all on the website. So I fixed his beak. So uh, I will be replacing that one on there uh, that's on the website right now. I had the beak both going another triangle up here and it just looked so weird. And I knew it wasn't right. The minute I painted it, I thought, that's not right. But I just now got around to, uh, to redoing it. And I sealed those today, getting those ready for the craft show. Um, so I will be going on and, and redoing that one. So y'all know that I don't have Procreate or anything like that. Everything I put on there is um, hand-drawn. So you can tell that they're hand-drawn, but they get the job done. And I've sold several. They're just $2, which means um, I just make a dollar dollar sixty four off of them after after I have to I pay square um, for theirs and I mean for their part in it so I don't make much but since they're just hand drawn and they're not uh, you know super detailed or anything that's I thought that was a good price they may go up after the first of the year but. Right now, they're just $2 a piece, and I've been selling, especially the gingerbread man face. And selling those like crazy. But I'm going to try to work on next year um, with my daughter on getting, with a template, a sample of what the, um, it looks like painted. I'm going to try to paint some of them and just put a picture of them finished. Alright, let's get this one on the side. And we'll do white red. Let's do this little one here. White. Next one is this one. I ordered another little paint holder. The ones on my wall are full. And I've got um, duplicates. So I ordered one of those from Michaels. One of those little spinning wire caddies. I saw good reviews and I saw bad reviews on it. That um, You have to pick it all up at once because the um, spinner thing falls out. Just a little tad of white right there, just to give the illusion that there's another one there. Okay, starting to look a little festive. Let's do white here. It's really easier to start from the small corner and work out, but it just depends on the direction that you are. And all these brush strokes will go away with the second coat. And then anything, if it's out of line, I'll clean it up a little bit with, um, with the red. The red that I'm using is um, Deco Art Tuscan Red. I really, really like it. And then for the green, I just loved the, it just a, it's really a Christmassy green. Um, I'm going to go see if they still have it, if they still make it, because I've had it for a while, but it's 
Anita's Leaf Green. It's a real pretty Christmassy, Christmassy green. And then I shaded or highlighted um, this toe and the heel in Ceram Coat Apple Green. So you could use any lighter, any lighter green. You'll notice on this um, this round brush, once I get going with it, I start pressing down and flatten it out. Another thing that Erica's really good with that I like to uh, watch and pick up tips with her is her color combinations. She's very knowledgeable in um, the paints and what colors go well together, what colors, if you mix them, what they'll do. And she's very knowledgeable about the laser cutters. I think she has a rabbit and she is a representative for them or an affiliate, I'm not sure how you say it, but um, so she's got some videos on her page if you're wanting to know anything about uh, lasers. I don't mind singing her praises on here when you come across somebody that's good honest and you can trust them and their work is really nice I uh, never mind sharing that and y'all I'm up to 571 followers when we get to 600 we'll have some happy happy mail I know that's laughable to some that have 30,000 or 100,000, but you know what? They started out with zero as well. The first time you go live, you know, you're waiting for that button to show somebody's watching. And, um, you know, so they all started out somewhere. In the beginning... And I am so thankful for every 571 of you. And the way that happens is when you guys sprinkle my videos and tell others about it. Uh, for some reason, Facebook does not allow you to use the word S-H-A-R-E. Not sure, because we still get the point across, so... Um, but so we use words like sprinkle, sprinkle the love, or spread the paint. Hit that magic button down at the bottom. Now, if you did not get notified by Facebook um, that I was going live, be sure and hit the little bell or the three little dots. And it should ask you if you want to be notified when I go live. And you'll just get a little notification on Facebook. Okay, while I'm right here, I'm going to go ahead and put another coat on that one. Now, to some people, this would drive them insane having to do all these little monotonous, what they call monotonous, repetitive things on here. But I, it is incredibly relaxing for me to just sit and do repetition and the little details the little fine details like this that's what sets yours apart from everybody else all right I'm going to finish out this white that I've got on my brush all right I want to see if the comments are keeping up with Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yay. Swipe right to left. Right. Left. 
Okay, I did that, Miss Erica. It's been so much fun watching everybody that's starting to paint Christmas and all the pretty fall stuff they're painting and Halloween. I was sitting down there watching something earlier. I was eating lunch and it's like, okay. I could sit here and watch everybody else all day long, and it's but it's not getting my stuff done. But it's so much fun to watch everyone. I do want to comment. Um, I've gotten several friend for my personal page, several friend requests, um, but I was told. In a business meeting um, that Facebook only allows you so many friends a certain number of friends on your Facebook page and then when you hit that number um, they will you know you can't get any more friends on there so that's why I am I save it mainly for um, for family and um, paint related things so if you send me a friend request and I don't answer, please don't get your feelings hurt. It is, um, I would have 10,000 on there if they would let us. But I think the limit is 2,000. That's what it was a couple of years ago. And I did not know that. So anybody that was sending me a request, I mean, sure. But if you ever have a question or, you know, need me for anything or want to book a party, always just go to my Facebook page, my cell phone number. I've given that to most. It's available there. You can go to my website or if you'll just instant message me. We can get it done. Melody, I do have, if you'll uh, scroll on down on my page um, after the video, if you'll scroll on down, I do have lots of pictures of our um, painter's event that we did back in August. We had a lot of fun. I can't remember where you're from, Melody. Melody. We've almost got all of them base coated. I got some things in the mail that I've never used before, so I'm hoping to use that on tomorrow night's live. Not sure if we'll be finishing this up or if we'll do a, a new project. Um, so between 6 and 6.30. That's when I'll go live tomorrow. Okay, let's do this one right. It's kind of like buffalo plaid. You gotta think a little bit so you don't end up with side by sides. I did go buy me some frog tape, some straight frog tape. I have some, um, oh, like the wavy and different designs, but I didn't have any of the straight. In the last two projects that I have done with um, painter's tape, and it said clean release, but it ripped the paint off of my project, and I had to go back and redo some. And that's twice, and I've been using it forever, and it wasn't giving me any problems. I don't know if it was the humidity or what it was, but I went and got me some frog tape. Hobby Lobby had it, and it was not any more expensive than Walmart's. In fact, I got it on sale, so it was even cheaper. Right. 
my hubby is wanting to rent an RV and take a trip after after the holidays, after the craft show. He was wanting to purchase one. And I've talked him into just renting one and taking a trip when we want to, rather than having to store it, pay insurance on it, taxes. So I said, hey, when, whenever you get the itch to go on an RV trip, we'll just rent one. It'll be so much cheaper, so much easier. So it looks like we'll be doing an RV trip sometime in the near future. Okay, so we need white on this one. Unload some of that paint. And when I get down to the bottom, I lift up on the brush. Flatten it out when I'm filling in. And lift up when I get to the edges. Okay, we're getting close. And the second coat's always easier. Let's put this one white. Around the stocking with T O M P T red. Oh no no! I take that back. I'm sorry. Napa red. Napa red. It's a darker, so I've, I've floated all around with that. I remember now I tried the Tom or Tom Pete, I don't know how you say it, red, and it just wasn't quite dark enough. Kind of feel like painting little beach balls. We are talking about possibly putting our house on the market in the spring. We've been here 34 years, and it's hard to think about leaving it, but it's two-story, and a lot of, we have a, a full acre, which doesn't sound like much, but when my husband spends all day Saturdays trying to keep up with all the trimming and so I can't stand the thought of having to pack everything in, in my craft room you know you have to keep everything nice and clean when people well, I do anyway but organize when you know it's kind of hard to be organ organized sometimes in your craft room when you're in the middle of stuff so I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet. I think I'm going to need a little red right there. That one looks a little fat. So I'll go back and do that with red. ordered some things last night for Christmas gifts, some on Amazon and some on Etsy. I ordered them probably about, uh, it was about 8 o'clock, and they, they came about uh, an hour ago. They're already here, all three of them. So I am getting close to being done with my Christmas shopping. Yay! Yay. 
So that's another little tip on your uh, graphite paper. Don't forget that you can get it in different colors. I have uh, gray, black, gray, white, yellow, blue, and I think red. And I also have an orange. So it comes in all colors. Of such an odd shape it's hard to paint it at the angle you need it to see it need to see it so I bought the other archon mount so that when I go downstairs or out in the garage I can set you up better and the lighting won't be as as good as in here, but this is what I've been using. Um, been using this little thing, and it works okay. So, but I do have to tape it down because the phone causes it to fall over. This was at the five and below, so it was um, four or something. So I've gotten you know my my good out of it, and I'll still use it for other things. But uh, and it lifts up and down. I mean, it goes up and down telescopes, but. Um, it's just not anything comparable to the Archon. Okay, we're getting close with our base coating. Okay, so let's see this one here. So that I'm not wiping my arm across it. Y'all know I'm notorious for that. White, red, white. White looks so pretty on red. Just instantly think Christmas. I decorate in reds, uh, reds, whites, and golds. My tree, um, if it's not sparkly, shiny, so it will reflect my little white lights, it doesn't go on. I have another tree that I put um, like painted ornaments and things on. I got really emotional yesterday, or day before, when I started thinking about selling the house, because we have been here so long, um, and I thought, oh no, if we sell, everything from this point forward is going to be the last, like our last Thanksgiving. Hi, Rhonda. So when you start Thinking about it that way, it's hard. We'll still move somewhere in the area. Um, might go a little closer north. I'm not not sure. Just depends what you know what's on the market at the time, and who knows what the market's going to do between now and the spring. We're just base coating Rhonda right now, just base coating these peppermints. I'm going to have a gingerbread man here in the, in the center. Alright, let's do this little guy. So this, again, this is one of my patterns and one that I did cut out. It's the only one I had left. I took several unpainted um, things to my 
painter's event. Really not expecting all that much to sell. And I sold almost all of the unfinished things and several of the painted things. And y'all, these do not have to be precise. If you look at a bag of peppermints, very rarely are two of them exactly the same. That's what makes it look homemade and loved. So don't stress out over it. Just have fun with it. You might um, practice on like some poster board or like a color poster board. Since this is white, it would be hard to, to see it on a white one. See if I can finish this last one over here before my hubby starts saying, are you going to pick supper? He's got a meeting. Uh, he's not off of his regular job yet, but he's got um, a meeting at 7. So I want to be sure and get it fed before then. So I'm just going to make something easy. Tacos and Spanish rice tonight. And brisket last night. see I'm not I'm not sure if it included this past Friday I think it did but as of last Friday there's only 10 Fridays left until Christmas I mean it is just almost here Okay, last one. Hi, Miss Heather. Oh, Melody, you're in Tyler. You're so close. You're close. You definitely could come to one if we did another one here. Hey, Deborah. Thanks for watching. I mean, doing just a one day, I mean, that does make for a long day, but it does keep your cost down as well. Um, we still have a wonderful day in the place where I had it. They have a nice cafe, so you don't have to leave, uh, you know, to eat. It, the food's very reasonable and very good. And the room has sinks in it. So that was really nice. So I may take a vote if I decide to do another one and say, okay, do you want a one day without hotel costs and do like three projects and then just a, like an hour of Let's do techniques. Let me show you different strokes, different ways you can do things. And if you're like me and technically challenged, here's a cheating way to do things. There's a way to get it done. I uh, like the little tip that I put on. Oh, one day this week. I don't know. About if you need to reverse your pattern, but you don't want to go through the hassle of reprinting it, 
retaping it, just hold it up to the window, face out, uh, the printed side out, and then just trace the back of it. Oh, I think I did that one wrong. Let's see, white, red, white, red. Yep, that one's supposed to be red. Got to talking and wasn't paying attention. So let me wipe what I can off of that and then I'll just go back over it with the red. Man, I got all the way down. Last one. Last one and I do it wrong. Yeah, I, I really like, and again, it, it makes for a little bit of a long day, but several said they really enjoyed that. That, um, I mean, both are wonderful. I love going to the two and three day lives and retreats. But I have to be careful or I'm spending. <laughs> so, I mean, it's easier to spend more than you make real quick. Okay, so I'll go back over that one just a little bit and clean it up with red. But let's go ahead and get our white on that one. Well, Logan and I painted, we ended up, we didn't go live. He just wasn't in the let's go live mode, so I didn't push it, but uh, we painted a gingerbread, little gingerbread man. And we ended up going to the arcades too. You know, that sweet little post I posted. He said, well, Grammy, I just want to stay home and paint with you instead of going to the arcades. Well, they went home. And I guess overnight, the more he thought about it, he was, well, I kind of would like to go to the arcades too. <laughs> I said, well, we can do both. So we had a good time with him. Just a tad bit of water to kind of smooth that out a little bit. You could do this with a small flat brush too. I just decided to use a round on it. it seemed to be working pretty good. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of white on these. Um, this one over here. I think it needs a little bit of white there and a little bit of white there just to kind of even it out. I've got so much I want to paint. And that's all I want to do. But I've got other things I've got to do. Like I put a load of laundry in couple of hours ago and I know it's just sitting down there waiting for me to put it in the dryer. I'll try to hop on back on tonight I think to finish this up and we'll do that other project. We'll see how my frog tape works for tomorrow night. I love the ceram coat white. It's not near as chalky, but it really it does cover. It usually just takes a couple of coats um, to cover it. Okay, well, let's put a little bit of white. All right, I think that one looks a little better. Just kind of 
funky right down here. It's okay, I'm going to put one more coat on him right quick. And then I've got to go fix my hubby some supper. Okay, and again, I'm using the uh, Deco Art Cocoa on this one. Ooh, that came out all at once. But I also use Honey Brown. And I've switched back to the flat brush. Oops, I hear somebody coming up the steps. So I'll be going around the outside of him with that darker red to shade around him. And then on the inside with some darker brown brown to show you. And then of course we'll do the white uh, Rick Rack. I'm going to have to scoop some of that back up in the bottle. I'll just pour it out all at once. I'm just standing it up on its chisel edge to get around that circle. A little bristle. Okay, that's it for right now. I am gonna go cook some tacos. And uh, we'll have supper. We'll have supper with him before his meeting starts. That way it'll be good and dry by the time I get back up here. And I'll try to hop back on and we'll do a little bit more on it. Um, but until then, I'll see you then. Thanks, guys. And thank you so much for bearing with me while I tried to get this uh, iPad working on this. So I'm excited I could visit with you much more while I paint it. I love, love, love it. All right. Thanks, guys. See you in a little bit.